Taylor here with AgriSpray Drones. We're going to show you how to do the 2D flight route mapping with the Agris T40. So what do I mean by 2D mapping? Well, 2D mapping is going to be using the camera that's on the T40, so it's a 12 megapixel camera with a gimbal on it so we can point down, and it's going to be using uh, the remote, so the hardware and the, uh, and the software and the remote to actually take those images that the drone uh, takes and process them and stitch them together to where you actually have um, a real live updated image of that area that you want to operate in and you don't have to rely on Google Maps imagery. It's a really really cool um, solution if you have a field that maybe you pushed out trees or maybe you uh, have you know made an irrigation lake or it is something is different than what the satellite image shows because what happens is it's going to overlay the image that uh, the pictures that the T40 takes over the screen on the T40 remote. Really cool feature. Now to do this, you actually have to have RTK. So RTK is um, essentially really, really accurate GPS. So it's, a, it's uh, a base station on the ground or a fixed location on the ground that you are getting telemetry from. And there's two ways to do this. You can use a DJI RTK base station uh, or you can use a cellular RTK network. Now we choose the latter of the two. We choose a cellular RTK network and we choose Digifarm. Uh, Digifarm is a really, really good service. It uh, covers pretty much any place where, where corn is grown and even more uh, places, um, pretty much any place where that, that ag is done. Um, and you can connect to it with, all you have to have is a hotspot, on your phone right now my hotspots on i have internet on here uh, very little internet uh, two bars of 4g is all i have and you just uh, put in your username and password right in here so i'll show you a bit um, on that in the trailer here so you can see without a glare and then we will map and we will fly the t40 so right here this is just our regular satellite imagery we're going to go into our settings we're going to go into rtk and right there we have selected from the drop down custom rtk network and so we just put in all the information this is uh digifarm information right here um and everybody everybody gets one of these if you get digifarm um, we are a dealer for digifarm so if you want more information about digifarm contact us and we'll let you know uh, but as soon as you get connected to that Right there, we have RTK. It's really that simple. Um, it's just pulling off of, off of Digifarm's base station, Digifarm satellite uh, sources, uh, or, or uh, Digifarm cellular network. Um, that's it. Super simple. Okay, so once you have that done, then just go into um, route mapping, and we're going to give it an area. So hit add. Just go through continue. It says 9.1 feet. That's actually 90 one feet, the decimal point's in the wrong place. Go through all of this, and now it's just like mapping out any other uh, mission. So we're gonna, actually we'll do it over where our truck's at. That way you can, you can see how well it does. There we go. So as you build out this map, it's gonna, build out a route. This is the route that the drone is going to fly. And you can actually choose to have it fly the entire area, or you can have it choose to do a boundary route. And so this means it's going to take pictures along the edge of the field. And this means it's going to take a picture of the entire area that you map. So with the boundary route, you can actually do a really large field. You can do, you know, 160 acres uh, just flying around the outside perimeter of that field. Uh, just so you get an updated image of, let's say, where the tree rows are at. Like right here, we have tree rows. Um, and so if we wanted an updated image of just the tree rows, we could just do the outside boundary of this field. Um, but if you wanted the entire area that you map, then you just do the area mapping. You can choose medium or high resolution. So we're just going to show you in the medium resolution right here uh, for time's sake. Hit confirm. Give it a name just like always. We'll give it a demo name here. That's a name for the mission right here. And then all we have to do is make sure the drone's clear to take off. Hit start. It's going to upload just like it does a spraying mission. Slide right. The drone's going to go up to 90 feet, point the camera straight down and start taking pictures. It's important to note you should have the tank empty whenever you do this.
You could actually take the tank out if you wanted to. The tank doesn't provide that much weight, but it does increase flight time a little bit if you have the tank out. And so if you're mapping a large area, it might be good to have the tank out. To do area mapping like this with the T40, um, it's only allowing you to do 33 acres at a time. That's essentially because that's how much processing power uh, the remote has. It's about how much flight time that the T40 has uh, to take those pictures. Uh, because again, this is, it takes a lot of processing power to stitch high resolution imagery. Um, so the, the remote can only do so much with a limited processor. So there it just took one row of pictures. It's turning around. It's going to keep taking pictures as it turns and as it flies that next line. So on the screen right now, it's actually sending these pictures directly back to the screen. As it takes pictures, it sends them back. It's not going to start stitching them until we're done. Let's see if I can get it here so you guys can see. So there it's, it's updating the map with pictures that it takes. So there you go. It keeps dropping in pictures. You can see it, it's already stitching a little bit of it right there. So we have some, some green where our trees are at. Whenever it gets back, it's going to do a full, uh, a full stitching. It tells you how many pictures are taking, and it, it tells you uh, how complete the route is as well. And also, it gives you your altitude. And it's going to stay right around 90 feet, um, 90 to 100 feet as it, as it flies. We've got one more full line here. And it's going to turn around, fly diagonally, do that last line. Okay, so just took the last picture, and now it's going to return to home autonomously. Now again, it may not return to home autonomously, it just depends what you have setting uh, on your settings. We have it returning to home autonomously. So now it's actually going to start stitching these images together. It's important to remember that if you do this, you're going to be operating on RTK because you have to operate on RTK to use this mode. And the T40 is going to land by itself on RTK. Because it has that precise positioning, it knows exactly where it took off from. So it's going to go back to that exact spot and that exact orientation uh, and land uh, without you telling it to make that final descent. It's just going to go ahead and, and do that. Uh, pretty important to um, to practice this before you actually take it out and do it full scale. Okay, so now it's actually processing these images. Uh, right now we're about 53% done. Um, it's reconstructing it right now. And so we're going to go ahead and give it uh, a couple more minutes uh, and then we'll check back in whenever it's done. So we are done processing right now. Our image is on here. Uh, turns out we were screen recording and so that took a lot of power, a lot of processing power. and it. It, we turn the screen record off and it just finished processing instantly. Uh, so if you're doing this, don't screen record at the same time. Uh, just let it do its thing. Okay, so we're going to step back in here. Maybe I can show you on here um, as well what this actually looks like. So whenever it's done processing the images, it's going to overlay that imagery right on top of this map. And so there's a button over here to identify field. You can actually click that and they'll try to identify the field, but this isn't a very good example for that. Um, so all we have to do is we just hit confirm and then we're going to go back to our route mapping. Now we've already got, we got one field here. This is the field we just, uh, we flew just a bit ago, um, but we can use this live updated imagery to map out an additional field. Um, so you can see right here, that is Google Maps uh, background imagery right, right there. And then this is our, our imagery from the actual uh, mapping drone. Um, so you can see it's a little bit more detailed. Again, this was stitched on, um, on medium resolution, so high resolution would be a lot more detailed. There's our truck right there. Um, so this is a really cool tool if you're in a field that you don't have great satellite imagery. Just update it real quick. It takes just a few minutes to do so. And then we can just plan a field just like normal. Just like that. All right. 
So that's pretty much it as far as the 2D mapping goes on the T40. Uh, it's a really cool tool for certain situations. Again, you do have to have RTK to use this function, use the mapping function on the T40. So if you want to do this, if you want to use the 2D or 3D flight route mapping and you need RTK, we can help you out getting you Digifarm. Uh, or if you want to use the DJI RTK base station, um, that, that might be a better solution for you as well. So if you have questions on either of those, uh, want to know which might be better for your situation, give us a call, let us know. We'll see if we can help you out. Thanks.